Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I am here to work in our The Tomb of Tome. Why do I say tomb every time? The Tome of Colossal Concepts. So, um, as you can see, we flip through this every time, I know. But uh, we are getting quite a few little pockets and things in here. These are the two that we did um, in the last video that wasn't necessarily... It wasn't on a Tuesday, how's that? So, um, but I did get one of each in there. So I have that, and then I have another page ready to go for the next ones. I think I'll do two today again. I'll show you two pockets, and then I'll, like, decorate one of them or something like that. I've got some book pages. And you don't have to make pockets out of book pages. You can use any paper you have. It's just that I tore down that um, altered book, and I had all these uh, book pages, so... We will do this one. I can't even remember exactly how that one goes, but anyway, this one and this one. And this one I think I got from, who was that? Scrapbooking with me, or it might have been the Corey. Is that, I'm not sure what her last name is. I think it starts with a D. I don't know. I don't remember where I got it, but I'll try to figure it out and link it in the description box below. This one I think I was just playing around with and um, came up with this one, so it can go either way because it's the same on both sides. But uh, what this one is, is um, to like put onto a page, so if this was my journal page, I would put it on here and glue like right here and right here and have, you could make this a pocket, but these are also pockets right here, or you could make a pocket that goes down from the top, and it's the same on both sides, so... There's a pocket here and a pocket here. So we'll start with that one. <laughs> and that starts with two book pages. My cutter, because I do need to cut the edges of the book page. And so it's essentially, again, going to be the size of your book page, whatever size that is. It doesn't have to be specific. I will give you the measurements of the ones I have, but it's not necessary for it to be the same size as mine. You might want them littler or whatever. So I don't know that you'd want them a whole lot bigger, but possibly depending on what you're doing. So I'm just going to neaten up these edges just so when it's folded and stuff, it looks nice and hopefully cut a straight line here. That would be something new for me. hope you guys are having a great day. For me, it's Monday. For you, it's Tuesday. I managed to make a video over the weekend so I was able to kind of get ahead again because as I told you guys I think it was last week or whenever I am having the worst time getting videos to um well I having trouble with them editing on my editor in any quick fashion and also getting them uploaded to YouTube so it's like been taking me the entire day. I'm not making my videos any later and you'll you probably notice they aren't coming out until like five o'clock in the afternoon, my time. Um, yeah, so that's been super annoying because I haven't changed anything. It's just for whatever reason, it's taking forever. Okay, so this one measures seven long and that seems to be a good size because if you do it a whole lot taller than that, um, it's too tall for most journals. And then um, width-wise, this one is like five and a quarter. So I'm going to cut this one at seven. I don't really care if it's exactly five and a quarter or whatever. Cutting off the top because I don't like that dark print up there. But yeah, so I've just been having the worst time getting videos out in any reasonable manner. So... Needless to say, that's been a real pain. So I got one done this weekend and because I needed to get a haircut today, which for me is Monday, like I said. Um, I'm just going to eyeball it. You kind of want them in the middle, roughly, of wherever you're a little... Um, center pot spot would be on this, but it's not that big of a deal. I'm trying to sort of get them even at least. And I guess I could have just gone all the way through, right? Yeah, because this one goes right over the top of the other one. So in order to get them so they're even, 
you could just fold it in half and punch them all at the same time, which that would be the smarter way to do it. And it's not even that important that they're even this way because they're going to be on separate pages. But anyway, there's that. And then you're just putting one right over the other, one book page right over the other to get that fold and then have the pockets there. You could actually probably do this with just like one book page but it just would be kind of thin, so I like to do it with two. But you could probably actually get away with it with one if you were collaging on it and all that. If that makes sense. So I'm going to run a bead up here. I am going to kind of run one. Actually, I think I'll run it down the middle of this part. I just like to, you know, make sure that it's stuck together well. We don't want anything falling apart on us. And then, oh yeah, you will need one down the middle too. So we'll just kind of eyeball it. You can measure if you're worried about where the middle actually is. I'm just not that worried about it. And you can see I don't have it in the middle. But I'll just have to make the card for that one bigger. But yeah, definitely measure if you want it. You know, better job than what I did. <laughs> this, one's, this one will go in my idea book, so it's okay. I'll get the concept of what I had going on. That, and then we're going to come over here, and I'm going to glue them the same because I don't want. Um, where is my glue spot on here? About there. If they're going to be uneven, just make them equally uneven. I guess is what I'm thinking. So then you can get. You know have it in there and then you've got your two pockets two pockets two pockets two pockets like that okay so that's literally all that one is is gluing two pages together to make four pockets and then you could have a fifth and a sixth just depending on how you glue it onto your page I hope that's making sense um, let me grab a piece of paper okay so this is my uh, journal one uh, one page in a signature I would take this and just put it on the side like that and then I'd have these two pockets in either a top loading pocket or a side loading pocket on this side and then the same thing on the other side so that's all that one is that's super super easy So set that aside and then I'll show you how I did the next one and again I think I might have seen this on um, scrapbooking with me is where I think I saw this but it could have been uh, somewhere else. So this one just needs one book page. And I think I kept it that tall. I'm kind of surprised I did that because how tall is that? Is that going to be too tall for a journal? I don't even think I thought about that. I think I just made it. Yeah, that's going to be real close. I guess it's okay though. I mean, it's not too tall, but you might want to make it uh, smaller because this one flips open and that's a writing spot. You glue the whole thing down, I think. I guess you could leave it as a tuck back here. It's just one sheet of book page, though. So it just depends on, I guess, if you collage over it and stuff like that, though. I, w I just wouldn't leave it at uh, one book page with nothing else on it because it just would probably tear really easy. But if you're covering it, then it'll be fine. Fold that in half. And then I wrote down the measurements here. That first cut, you know, for this top part comes at five and a half. I must have gone from the bottom. Yeah, I did. I measured from the bottom. So two and three quarters up, and then five and a half up is where you're going to cut it the second time. So instead of measuring from the bottom, I measured, or I mean from the top, I measured from the bottom. So sorry if that was confusing. So I'm gonna two and three quarters is the first place where it's gonna get glued. Well, it's gonna get glued on the bottom. Punch our holes first. 
or thumb notches. And this one's going to come about from there, about there, I guess. Okay. So two thumb notches on there and two and three quarters. So I've got two all right here. And it, these don't have to be exact either because it's really just about where you want them, what size you want your pockets. So that one will go like there. And then the next one is at five and a half. So right about here. And that's actually going to get cut apart, so I need to cut there as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got this idea from E at Scrapbooking With Me. I'll try to find that video, and like I said, I'll link it below. So that's all you're doing is making like a little door flap or whatever. And then you've got a pocket down here and a pocket down here. Okay, and you can, if you want them to be perfectly measured out, then go ahead and do that. I just, you know, wing it. And so this one I'm going to go ahead and decorate. So there's those, and I'll put one in each, one of each of them in my... Uh, idea book there. So yeah, I just had to go get a haircut this morning and some other things. And so I filmed my video ahead of time so that I'd have it done. Well, plus, like I said, I've been having a heck of a time getting anything uploaded. So I wanted to get ahead again. I don't know how long I'll stay ahead, but I'm going to try because that is the most aggravating thing when you um you know we're trying to get a video out and it's just getting later and later and later and it's not doing anything and i did put a couple of those hearts with the vintage doily on them in my shop and i have a few more that i'll probably try to finish up today and get listed so um i don't know how many more i'll get done after that but I kind of want to get this journal done, and I need to decide what to do for the cover. So yeah, just, you know, busy. Just busy. And my husband's having surgery on Thursday. So that will be... I don't know how much... Yeah, oh, that's where I won't be ahead anymore. <laughs> yeah. But let's see what I can get done this week. It seems like we've just had loads of appointments and things, and I just haven't been able to stay ahead at all. Barely been able to keep up, to keep up, much less get ahead. So sorry about that. surgery shouldn't be too long. It's not like a huge, like major surgery or anything. But, so hopefully that'll be fairly quick anyway and move, move forward. Okay, so I'm just going to decorate that up using my rest and numbers and whatever else I can find over here in my Junk. I seem like there's something else I wanted to tell you guys. And I, oh, I know what it was. My son got a job. It's so crazy to say he's got a job. But um, he's working at the same restaurant as my daughter, so today is his first day at work. He was very excited and nervous and all those things, you know. But yeah. I've been having trouble, you know, finding help and stuff. And my daughter was like, 
You could hire my brother. <laughs> so she interviewed him and stuff and thought he'd be a good fit. So, But he kind of got her that job in the first place because um, he knows uh, some of the other kids that work there and just had mentioned you know that she was looking if they could tell their boss or whatever because she had put in her application and so that's how she got her interview and all that so yeah it was, they kind of just helped each other out which was awesome always encouraging that for sure This is just out of one of those typing manuals. I don't need all that. I just need a piece. So, yeah, that's how I get to do that. I don't know how long, though, because they're kind of talking about going back to school. Um, more regular, you know, like almost like a regular schedule. So if they do that, then he won't be able to work much mostly weekends that kind of thing so we'll see how it goes but if they stay on just the two days a week then he can work a couple days a week and, and be good that's all he needs he doesn't need to work full time or anything gas money and stuff which uh, it's already going up which irks me to no end I don't want to go back to that five dollar gallon gas thing we just don't have any sort of good public transportation around here like there's no I mean there is in the city but it just doesn't work for us where we're at and we're too far from everything you can't like just ride your bike or just not feasible that's just aggravating when the gas prices go up a lot and it's that way all over America I mean honestly it's just too big of a land area to you know, rely on like public transport and stuff like that entirely. It just doesn't work. But nobody asked me, so there you go. But I do not want to go back to five dollars a gallon. That was not good. We had to get rid of our car and get a different car <sighs> frustrating I'm trying to figure out <laughs> I kind of want both of these things but I don't think I can get both of them I guess if I tear off some of that circle it's not that big of a deal I just need to tear off like this much probably Yeah, it's, gas prices here have gone up already in a week, like 10 cents, which isn't horrible. I don't mind 10 cents, but the problem is it just will keep creeping up and up and up. And I don't know how my kids are going to afford to drive to school and stuff like that because it just gets crazy. And those are for the thumb notches. If I could see them. <laughs> oh, so many people out of work. I just don't know how it's going to work. like it's too tall still. I don't know what my daughter's watching. <laughs> she was doing homework. She's got something that's got kind of loud music with it or something. 
just need to notch that one more. It's like it seemed like it fit just fine and then you go to actually put it on and it's like, oh, that doesn't seem right. So yeah, it's been fun making these kind of grungy or whatever look you want to call it. I really like that. It's kind of one of my favorites and I don't, like I said, I don't know why I don't do it more. did a horrible job of cutting and tearing that. I think I did all kinds of sidewaysness. Let's see, do we have anything I can put? The music maybe? I'm so glad I decided to do this um, tome thing. Can <laughs> you hear a whistling? That's so funny. Um, because I've wanted to have an idea book for a long time and it's just like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll get to that and you never get to it, you know, you guys know how it is. So, we had a nice weekend, um, Watched the Super Bowl at my in-laws yesterday, and the day before my sister came over and we had some chili and hung out a little bit um, with her daughter and husband, so that was fun. They they did get married this summer, just um, like civil service type thing, and then they're going to have more of a wedding once hopefully in June but who knows if that'll happen or not with everything going on still. That's cool. These are already nice. But yeah, so these are they are married but they want to have a you know a nice wedding with all the family. So They look grungy. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, it really doesn't do that. that often. <laughs> it's only when I'm doing videos, I swear. That and the phone ringing. And I only have it on because, like, my son's not here. I can probably turn it off now. Just like to have it on if they need to get a hold of me. But I'll turn it off so you don't have to listen to make noise. I am having a sale in my Etsy shop on Digis again, like I did the 30% off. I always forget that it's better at the first part of the month for, you know, some people need to do those things at the first part of the month, and I forgot last time and made it at the end, so I was like, I'll just do another one if there was anybody that couldn't get something and wanted it. So yeah, so that stuff's on sale again until um, the 15th I think is what I did so I think that's Monday next Monday appreciate you guys so much all your support it's just so kind and I and I all the kind wishes and words and um, you know contact me contacting me on my Etsy to you know, for good wishes for like my husband and daughter and all those kind of things. You guys are just very kind and I appreciate it a ton. If you saw on my Instagram, 
the picture of my kids that I put up yesterday. They were laughing with each other. They're such goofball. It's a cute picture. And my cat. I literally was snapping a picture and he jumped up and plopped down right next to what I was <laughs> taking a picture of. Uh, he's just like, I want to be in the picture. Take a picture of me. I'm cute. Okay, so I think those are fun. So a writing spot and then two tag or whatever you want to call it spots. I'll actually go ahead and make some of those. Oh, this is another one that I don't want to forget. Um, oh, no, that's not it. I thought it was. This will actually really fit in there. could make like little fold over booklets. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do that and then I'll do that other one another time. <clears throat> How wide is that again? So not quite two and a half will probably work. That's a little bit shorter than I thought. I'll save those for something else. <laughs> I mean, make it out of these. <laughs> I thought that was going to be the right size, but it wasn't. That pocket is pretty much the width of the whole thing, so I'll just do it like this. Again, I know I just did it, but my brain doesn't work sometimes. Over two and a half. <laughs> yeah, so <clears throat> that's all we really have. We don't have a whole lot of anything going on. Other than, you know, like I said, appointments and whatever. And darn getting a job. It's very lucky because my daughter couldn't get a job until she was 18. She tried lots of places, but um, no one would even, you know, really look at her application or anything until she was 18. So... I started working on 14, but that's back when they hired kids more. First stuff, they just don't anymore. So instead of doing um, what do you call it? Like a journaling card. Just a plain journaling card. These are going to be more like little, little booklets. I won't put like pieces of paper in there. I'll just cover it so that it's a writing spot. Basically like I did the top part up there. That's all it'll be. Just something a little different. Um, need more of this. Space go here. Okay. Oops, move the whole thing. Yeah, it was good to see everybody this weekend, though. We haven't seen family since Christmas time, basically. So it was nice to see everybody. Everybody just gets busy, you know, doing, doing their thing, as we all do. And time just flies, and then you're like, wow, it's been a long time. So it's good to see everybody. I'm not the best either at um, totally keeping up with everybody. I mean, I usually talk to my sister on the weekend on the phone or something, but Okay. That 
work and then a little something on the inside to write on. That could be used on the back. This is from my old paper, so I think I'll just go ahead and use that. I think this is from the second, so it's the old paper two. That's where this one's from. Yesterday I um, watched Gail's Scrappy Saturday. I was a day behind, but um, I laughed and told her, I, you know, I always love her Scrappy Saturdays. And then I said, I think I'd have to do a Scrappy Monday through Friday <laughs> to even put a semi dent in it. And she laughed and was like, Yeah, I could do it every day of the week. It's like, Yep, because every time you tear a piece of paper, you have a scrap. And there's a whole lot of paper tearing going on. <laughs> so. <laughs> whole lot of it. I just kind of put this on the back here. It's from a, oh, but it has a better ad here. Well, let's use that one. Combination range. My grandparents had not that old, but it was more of like a uh, probably 50s model in their house when I was a kid. I remember that thing because it had like the deck part would pull out so you could prepare stuff and then the burners and then the ovens were up above like two cabinet doors almost that like opened. It was really kind of a cool setup. I actually think stuff like that makes more sense because our lower ovens are kind of a pain in a way. It would be nice to have them up higher. I think. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was an interesting looking range they had. <clears throat> but I mean, that was one thing. That thing was around, like I said, probably from the 50s, 60s, somewhere around there. And I grew up, you know, 70s, 80s. And they had it the whole time I was growing up. They definitely made things better, no doubt, because already we've been in this house for 13 years and our oven's starting to go out. I mean, they always put the, you know, cheapy, cheapest stuff of the cheap in new houses, it seems like, unless you're having it built and pay the extra, but the ones that the builders just build. They always seem to kind of jip you on all that. But it should still last longer than it does. I don't know what I did with the lid. Do you guys see the lid? You're probably like, Amy, it's right in front of your face. Oh, it's over here. I just don't want this to get all dry. I want to put something on the front of this. And now we're going to be back to the Tim Holtz people and how to how to make them work. <laughs> Maybe I'll use something else. Let me see what I got in my little price tag bin here. are in my price tag digi, these old ads. And that's not all going to fit, but we can use a portion of it anyway. I 
I'm still just going to need something else in there. These little tiny things sometimes are hard for me because I just feel like I don't have enough room to... I do like just the 10 cents. That's one of the original ones that I made for the little piece of paper stuck to it. Um, for the digi. Yeah, the smaller they are sometimes. It's like, I guess you don't have to put like a ton of stuff on them, that's for sure. are sticking to it. That work. So just add a little okay to go in here. I think that's kind of fun. And then we can do another one. Where are we at on time? Okay, here we go. Twinky. Use up some of these scrap pieces. Yeah, see, even when you do this kind of stuff, and I'm using scraps, but I'm also tearing it, so then I have more scraps. <laughs> it's never ending. Could just go on and on and on. car ones. I love these with the people in them with their hats on and everything. Super fun. There, crack me up. screw in the hinge at the bottom so you can get more interest there. And this I think I'll probably just kind of tear off about here. Oh, I didn't tell you guys my story. So I was supposed to get the table for the Glow Forge on Friday. And I might have mentioned it in my last video, so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. Um, they showed up at the door and I opened the door and the delivery guy just kind of his shoulders slump and stuff. And he just looks at me like, oh no. And I just was like, what? And he goes, I think I delivered the wrong table. Like, <laughs> Because he remembered me from the last time. He's like, I thought the house looked familiar, but I, you know, that's all he does is deliver. He doesn't order or do any of that stuff. Um, he's like, I thought the house looked familiar, but I just thought, you know, I deliver all the time. So, and I'm like, well, let me just come out to the truck and look at it so you guys don't have to bring it in if it is the wrong one. Sure enough, the same exact wrong table. <laughs> I mean, I'm just laughing at this point because it's so utterly ridiculous that I cannot even... Oh, so, needless to say, I still don't have a table. Don't know what we're going to do because I canceled the order. I was just like, never mind. You know, I don't... <laughs> you seriously can't figure it out. I don't need a table. <laughs> I'll get one somewhere else. I don't know where, but... Because it's hard to, you know, get a whole lot of anything right now, as you all know. So yeah, that was uh, that was my day Friday. It was uh, a little special. So I'm telling you, I have the luck of the Irish in spades. 
And if you've never heard what that is, that's if we didn't have bad luck, we wouldn't have any luck at all. That's what the luck of the Irish is. So, and that's the truth of it. Because that's how it always goes for me on those kind of projects. I'm telling you, it's, that's why I just laugh at this point in my life, because it's like, I couldn't expect any less. Uh, yeah, or more, or whatever. Yep, so, anyway, no table. So, the Glowforge is still on the floor. So, I think what I'm going to do is go find, like, maybe um, some type of antique table. You know, like, nothing fancy, just like maybe even a dresser or whatever. And I'll just, um, oh, I put that backward, <laughs> upside down. Um, and I can just repaint it or do whatever to it. Because, yeah, that was most aggravating. And it was the exact same table as the thing. I just was like, it's so crazy exact same wrong table twice. And I would have just like said fine I'll take it but it's too narrow because it was like a sofa table and so it was way too narrow for the Glowforge when it fit on it. So it wasn't even like I was just being picky or something you know. So anyways yeah that was fun. So if I ever get it figured out I'll show you guys. I don't know what I'd do without that thing. I used to use a regular eraser, which kind of works too, but that thing works way better. And what do I want to put on the back? See, it's better if you wait for those to dry before you fold it if it's uh, wet with glue, but I'm not that worried about it, so for that, you know, because it's smaller. If you're doing a big project, then yeah, it's better to wait. You don't want to have it get a weird fold in the middle and stuff. It keeps it from buckling if you wait till it dries. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of take off this top part. I'm not even as good as Gail either because she'll save a lot of stuff that I would toss just because I get to the point where I'm like just get it out of here I cannot deal with it anymore and she's always very good about basically using up all her trash which is you know all the little pieces of paper and everything but uh, yeah I just get to a point especially when I get on one of my cleaning jags Stuff just starts hitting the trash can sometimes, or I, you know, stuff that's usable I'll give away, but yeah, I just can't deal with it after a while. Okay, so I think those are super cute and tiny and stuck together. <laughs> All right. Yay! I got like a whole piece, a whole entire piece done and another pocket. So yeah, so that is a video. So I hope you guys like those two pocket ideas and I hope that you will make them and put them in your idea book. So I will chat at you again tomorrow. Thank you, thank you for everything. You guys rock. I love you guys and we'll chat soon. Bye-bye!